I found an AI software that will translate your video into any other language that you want, as long as the voice is available. And I want to take a look at it today because I haven't really got to play with it yet. Last week, I was contacted by a company called Lovo. Uh, they have a AI voice generation tool called Jenny. And I want to take a look at that today, pop in, see what it can do. While originally communicating with the creator of the software, I was hard pressed to find a solution for what this could be useful for uh, for me. But then I got to thinking that YouTube is about to offer multilingual audio on their website. And then I got to thinking, OK, well, that's something that Mr. Beast was testing out and a few other creators were testing out last year. Then I got to thinking even more. Well, I wonder how much this costs, because ultimately every audio that you upload if you want it available in several different languages, is going to cost you money to have somebody voice over that for you unless you know a friend or a family member that speaks the said language that you are trying to translate your video to. The solution that I have come up with then is that we can use this AI tool to translate our video scripts into other languages, have the AI read it, and then put that on the video. Now, I don't have access to that feature yet, but this tool will be useful for when all creators can get their hands on that multilingual audio track feature. So I'm going to take a look at it today. I haven't messed with it yet. Uh, I want to pop over real quick and just show you the background of YouTube Studio, where you'll be able to do this at. So when we're in YouTube Studio, it is actually off into the subtitle screen is where it's supposed to be when it's available to you. Now, I have this tool with TubeBuddy that shows me where most of my viewers are coming from. So if we can take a look down here, we can see some other languages that are watching my videos. And obviously, probably people from Punjabi or Dutch, you know, Filipino, Portuguese. I wonder how many of these people speak English fluently or would rather watch the video in their actual language. Sidebar with me real quick. If you want access to these stats to see who's watching your video and what country they're coming from so you can better determine what language to translate your video, subtitles, tags, description, and the audio when it's available, I'll leave a link in the description down below to TubeBuddy. It's my affiliate link. You can head on over there and get access to all these tools. I think you can start TubeBuddy for like $5 a month. So now we head back over here. As we can see, 63% of my viewership is coming from English or English speaking territories. So that's fine. Uh, however, Hindi and German are the top two after that. So, you know, just like normal in here, German, I would be able to add uh, titles and descriptions for German, which is what I have done. And then I can go in, which I will be doing in a little bit, adding the subtitles. I'm not going to do that in this video so they can actually read in their language on the screen. So this is where the tool comes into play. Then this is Lovo, right? Lovo.ai. And again, if you want access to this tool after we talk about it, there will be a link in the description down below that they have provided me to provide to you to sign up for this service if it is something that you are interested in. So. We'll take a look at it here. You can start for free. Obviously, we'll take a look at the pricing like we always do in these kind of overview videos. Uh, currently claiming that over 400,000 plus people are using this service, which is believable. They claim that three AI voices that they have are able to do emotional voices and you can select from which emotion you want them to portray, which is pretty cool. They also have some in-app video editing like to see it that's pretty sweet granular voice control things like that but they claim that we won't believe it's not human so let's find out about that right so first and foremost i have an account but if you wanted to sign up for an account what are we looking at so there is a free version 14 day free trial of the pro plan is included within that you get 20 minutes of voice generation credits so if you have multiple multiple videos that you're trying to um you know, translate, probably not the best option. Your videos get watermarked if you edit with the in-app editor. One gig of storage, and you can do 10 downloads per month, I believe. But you do not have commercial rights, so you cannot make money from your videos that are translated. Next, we're going over to the basic tier, right? Two hours of voice generation credits, 20 plus premium voices, three emotional voices with 20 plus emotions. That's what I was talking about earlier. You can do 1080p video export from their video editor global voices in 100 languages. That's where the brain gets going, but we also get commercial rights, unlimited downloads, 30 gigs of storage. What you don't get is beta voices, priority queue, producer mode, and priority support, which is what you get 
in the Pro on top of the extra 70 gigs of storage. There's also an Enterprise model if you run a Enterprise, but I'm not gonna go over that today. Let's get into the app and see what it can do. So I'm here in my workspace right now, generation credits. It says that I have five hours. Thank you very much to Lovo for providing me a pro license key for a six month trial. Uh, so we are going to get our use out of this for sure. So I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of going over this uh, at the same time that you guys are. Our storage is listed over here. Let's go to project. We'll do a new project. You can choose in here if you want to do a video or a voiceover. I only want to do audio content because I am going to voice over that video that we were talking about, and I'm going to try to do it in German if that's available, but we're going to find out. So in here, it looks like we can do, we can change pitch, which is kind of cool. We can select our voice. Okay. Okay. So here's where we do language. Can I search by language? Uh, these are all English. I don't want to do that. Global voice. Let's see that. You can scroll through a huge list of all the voices. Looks like it's all alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G for German. Oh no, I don't know which German it is though. We'll just do that. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to select Willem. Willem Wagner. Okay. Now supposedly what we're supposed to be able to do is find a script. Uh, uh oh, I don't know if I have a script for that video anymore. Let me see if I can find that. Okay, so I found a script in Google Drive for it. We're gonna copy it all. We're gonna go back to our application and I'm going to paste it. Okay, so it looks like, oh, it looks like it did the whole thing. So now when we're doing this for an actual video, I've never used this, so I don't exactly know, uh, but we might have to kind of pay attention to timing, maybe go into the YouTube settings right so if we go into the youtube settings we can go into duplicate and edit here um and we can take a look at timings youtube is pretty good with timings so probably best to yeah probably best to come into here and find where the timings are so this whole first line is the first five seconds of the video so probably best practice to kind of match the timings up however we're pressed for time today so we're not going to do that i kind of live life on the edge live a little dangerously so we have our file here. It's all written out. Um, I don't know if there's a way to, I don't really see a way to preview. So do we just try to render it then? Let's do that. We're gonna, did you finish your work? Make a final file, new render. To render, there must be at least one. Uh, do we select them all? I think we select them all. We deselect that guy because there's nothing in there. Let's just delete that. Okay, everything is selected. We're gonna hit render. We're gonna hit new render. What? Do we generate selected blocks, maybe? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna build it out down here. Swanky. Okay, so I believe this is done now. We're done rendering. Up at the very top here, it says generation credits remaining. I have four hours and 52 minutes and 52 seconds. Keep in mind, every time you create something like this, it is going to take your time away. So we're gonna hit render now, I believe. We're going to new render. There we go. And we're going to call this the A750 uh, video uh, German. Sure. We'll do an MP3 format and we're gonna start. I like how I'm so uber confident about what I'm supposed to do, uh, but I actually have no idea. This is, this is fun stuff, so. We're 13% done right now. I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I will come back when it's finished. Okay, so it says it's completed. I actually have no idea if it's completed or not. We're gonna toss on the Course Air headphones here and we're going to see what it sounds like. Now let's pop back on over here. We see our file is done. Uh, I have a download option. I have a delete option, but I have a play option. So let's see what it sounds like. Gucci GPU options. That is a big part of what this channel is about. What is going to give you the most thing for your buck? How can you save money on building a rig that can play what you want without dropping stacks of cash on the video card component of the build? So it sounds kind of robotic, right? And I don't know if you can hear that or not. We're gonna, we'll download it. And now we're gonna open it and I'm gonna drag it halfway through and we'll see what it sounds like then. Another smart and great test on the high preset, we put it a score of 13,148. Moving over onto time SPY, we got a score here of 11,429. Temps on the card good. were staying in the upper 40. Is that not pretty good? I don't know German, but it kind of said that that version of German almost sounds like a mixture of 
English and, and German. Uh, so I don't know if that's what the actual language is for for that. But what I want to know now, what I'm curious about is this audio is um, seven minutes and seven seconds long. Is that how long the video is? No, it is not. So one thing that you're probably going to want to do is you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna make sure that those timings are spaced out like they're supposed to. So you're gonna wanna check your YouTube studio. You're gonna wanna go into the English, click on your uh, duplicate and edit for the English subtitles. You're gonna wanna edit timings because this is basically, it's got everything plotted out and this is the end of the video right here. So it's probably gonna be a process, okay? Now, depending on what you need, right? It might be worth it just for that. We saw pricing earlier, but I just wanna go over this real quick. So Pro is $36 per month, which can kind of be a little steep. Or if you go yearly, oh, if you go monthly, uh, it is, it's $50 a month, right? $25 a month for basic, that's two hours of voice generation. That for me might be a decent path to take, right? I do I do about eight videos a month going Monday and Friday and on the weekends, sometimes I do news videos, but those ones I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't do. I would just do like the main flagship content on the channel. Do you know what I, do you know what I mean? So for me, the $25 option is probably better. Two hours a month, I can probably get away with that. Most of my videos fall within like seven and a half minutes to like 10 and a half minutes. So that should be fine. For me, if you are pumping out daily content, you're a gaming channel, you, you know, you're pumping out a, a just an absolute ton of content, Pro might be worth it for you. But the thing is, is that if you're getting a return on your investment, right, in the form of ad revenue and sponsorships, maybe that $50 is worth it. Because if you think about it, if you want to go over and voice over every single video in every single language, and you have to go to something like Fiverr, you're probably paying at least 10 to $20 per video, and that is probably much more than what I'm estimating. I haven't actually looked into it. I think this is a solid option for multilingual audio on YouTube. I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think it's an awesome product. It clearly does a, a good job. You just gotta make sure that you hammer out the timings. Um, other than that, I mean, maybe you could even upload your, your video and have it translate that way. I don't know. That would be something that I would have to look into. But it gives an option for people like me, smaller YouTubers, who just want to get my content out to a wider audience, the option to translate your video into another language. Guys, that's the video. If you like this one, check out this guy right up here. I have a whole playlist of content right here. You can check one of those out, and I will see you when you get over there. Take care.